Hey guys, Megan Mitchell here. We've been getting some amazing submissions to our Stella Artois food board. This week I was inspired by your pins to head to Catalina Island to grill some local rockfish with preserved lemons. Catalina Island is just a short one hour ferry ride from Los Angeles. Most people arrive at the island's main harbor, Avalon. It's a quaint little town with great restaurants and a beautiful beach club. Outside of Avalon, Catalina has beautiful remote harbors. There are even buffalo roaming around that part of the island. So I'm heading to the town two harbors to cook up my Catalina-inspired meal. I'm gonna start with my quick preserve for my lemons. So I'm just gonna thinly slice them. First, I'm gonna add a really large pinch, about a tablespoon of coarse sea salt to the bottom of my jar. I'm gonna add my lemon slices one at a time. In between each slice, I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and then another slice and a little bit of salt until I'm done. And the salt is literally drawing out the liquid. And this is what's actually preserving the lemons. So now I'm gonna add some extra fresh squeezed lemon juice to the top. <laughs> I'm gonna add about two fresh bay leaves. Not only do they add amazing flavor, but they add a really beautiful color too. So I'm gonna shake this once or twice to get everything dispersed and then set it aside for about an hour. So I have my beautiful local rockfish filet here, and sometimes grilling fish can be a little tricky. That's why I'm using a cedar plank, which I soaked overnight. Not only does it help it from sticking on the grill, it imparts an incredible flavor. You'll hear the wood cracking a bit. That's the sound of the plank actually curing. I'm gonna add a couple preserved lemon slices. Season my filet with just a little salt and pepper, a little drizzle of olive oil, and then put this filet on my preserved lemons. This should cook about 12 to 15 minutes, depending on your grill. While this cooks, I'm gonna make the condiment for my fish, a gremolata. So first, I'm gonna take these oregano leaves off of the stems. And the joys of cooking outside means my oregano is gonna go everywhere. I'm just gonna give them a good chop. It smells so good. All right, let's get this oregano into this bowl as soon as possible. Looking good. So I want about a half of a cup of the flat leaf parsley. Hopefully this won't blow away on me. So I'm gonna use one clove of garlic, and instead of mincing it, I'm gonna grate it, and it makes it almost into a paste, which melts into this gremolata. And I'm gonna use our preserved lemons. Now I'm just gonna take off the rind, which is that bright part of the lemon. I'm just gonna give it a rough chop. The citrus flavors of the gremolata will pair perfectly with the sweet, malty notes of the Stella Artois. So I'm not gonna let these go to waste. I'm gonna juice these into the gremolata, and it actually keeps your herbs that vibrant green. A little bit of salt and pepper to taste, and finish it off with a little bit of oil. This is gonna be so good on the fish. Now I'm gonna grab my asparagus for my grilled side. And I'm making this asparagus raft because I hate it when I grill asparagus and it falls through the grates. This ensures that doesn't happen. I'm gonna just do a little drizzle of olive oil, a little sprinkle of salt, and a little bit of black pepper. And then to finish this off, I'm gonna use the preserved lemon juice. And it just sort of ties everything else in with the fish and the gremolata. That looks beautiful. I'm gonna let it rest for about three to five minutes and I'm gonna put on my asparagus rafts. Listen to that sizzle. I'm grilling these lemon halves because it adds a really nice smoky flavor to the dish and it just looks gorgeous on the plate. And I'm gonna slice these on a bias. I think it makes it look really elegant and beautiful. And lastly, the gremolata, which I'm just gonna sprinkle over the fish. I'm also gonna put some on my asparagus as well. I'm just gonna squeeze some of this grilled lemon over everything. I'm gonna put them on the plate as well because they look really pretty. And that looks like a pretty darn good meal. I had a great time here in Catalina. Where should I head to next? 
be sure to tag your favorite food and destinations to the Stella Artois Food Board. I cannot wait to see what you come up with.